Welcome to Talk to Brazil with Tom Riach, the business connector to business in Brazil. Welcome to Talk to Brazil, the business connection, a leading business podcast talking about business in the world. I'm Tom Riach, an American from Pittsburgh, living in Brazil, known as the king of networking, and talking from my podcast studio in Campinas, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Today's guest is Zenia Kirino, and she's joining us from Sao Paulo. Kenya and I met several years ago when she was president of the Executive Secretary Committee at the American Chamber of Commerce at the Sao Paulo office. She has served as a senior executive assistant in several multinational companies here in Brazil and is now an astro coach at Espaço Natividade in Sao Paulo. She now advises on how to bridge the gaps between talents, challenges, mind, soul, emotions, and personal and professional accomplishments. So with that, Zenia, welcome to Talk to Brazil. Ah, welcome. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. And hello, everyone. Well, I want to thank you again because I remember well how we first met there in Sao Paulo with, I think, uh, more than 100 women yes. uh, talking about networking. And that was, for me, an, uh, an exciting experience. So, But today... Uh, and we're looking out into this world, even at that time, everybody was talking about well-being, but they didn't use that word, right? Mm -hmm. Today, everybody's talking about well-being and still wondering, where is the future of work headed in Brazil? Yeah, uh, we are, you know, we are in this transition phase and we have to think about the post-COVID uh, measures okay mm -hmm. so we we have to think about uh, how we can decentralize because the world is decentralized at the moment so how to use this decentralization and how to distribute resources to everyone and uh, that's why the platforms and uh, linkedin and all other um uh, um ways and uh, places that we can meet, we can share, and we can show the, t the talents and skills of people and how to provide uh, this uh, and how to bridge this uh, gap to the companies and how the companies can find talents. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, we have to think that uh, we... Uh, uh, we are thinking about uh, how to grow and how to have success, but uh, we have to think about the resources mm -hmm. at the, uh, as well. I mean, the environmental resources. And we have to have the proper balance between the, the, the needs of the people and the needs of the planet. Okay? So at the moment, uh, uh, having this uh, uh, chance of working from home is something that you can get the proper balance to provide uh, assistance and care to the family mm -hmm. and uh, at the same time be productive and uh, be uh, an asset for the companies. Right, be economically included in, in, in whatever because uh, money is still money. Yes, we have to survive. We so have to we. Survive. <laughs> Yeah, so there, there is always, uh, there are always three, uh, f uh, three pillars. Okay, so we have to think about mind, body, and soul. And body means money and being productive. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Well, when we talked, uh, and years ago was that the essentially networking in Brazil contact uh, advisory was a face-to-face -face reality. Mm -hmm. and what you just mentioned, that reality came to a screeching halt. Mm -hmm. uh, and the world changed, as you mentioned. And the, the feeling today is looking, looking to the future. What this future is going to be, nobody knows. Not mm -hmm. here in Brazil, not in the States, nowhere. Uh, so it's still being redesigned. Redesigned, uh, yes. And we're looking at two challenges. If we look to the United States, what we hear is what they call the great resignation. Uh, thousands of people quitting jobs, leaving mm -hmm. uh, for satisfaction or whatever. When we look to Brazil, we have millions of people who haven't had a job even before the, the pandemic, and so they don't have a job to quit. They're still looking uh, for engagement. Yeah, and, so, and doing uh, anything for uh, earning. And okay, for survival, do, and it's yes. really, you know, survival of the fittest. 
Uh, and you've seen that evolution. And they're talking at a personal level. We're also talking of a corporate level. Uh, mm -hmm. Many multinational companies here in Brazil also suffered because of that. Uh, so the, the economic situation is different. Uh, so this well-being needs to be, let's say, translated differently when we're talking about the United States or Europe or maybe even Asia than when we're talking about Brazil. So the, that survival mechanism still kicks in, and that's the frustration for people. People are suffering in multi-levels. Yeah, because they, you know, they work a lot on their background. They really make a huge investment in uh, being... Uh, able to uh, you know provide the society to the talents that they mm -hmm. have and uh, there is no way where they can fit so sometimes it's very frustrating for people yeah? so is that your focus on what you advise uh, your clients here in brazil you, and bridging that gap mm -hmm. is really helping them understand their value Yes, to understand their values and to understand their abilities if they are more, you know, uh, uh, hands-on people, mm -hmm. people who have to work on structures and uh, different levels of uh, uh, um, uh, management. Mm -hmm. But there are people who are not uh, made to work uh, indoors. <laughs> <laughs> there are people who are made to work outdoors and, and be more communicative or to have the sense of uh, uh, validating people. Right. So uh, uh, we divide people into uh, the elements of the nature. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there are more uh, fiery people, people who are made to be in coordination, to be heads of the office, people who are more proactive, right. people who have more, uh, you know, leadership in their blood, let's mm -hmm. say like this. Okay. And those people are really, you know, uh, made to be working as managers and uh, working in leadership teams. And on the other hand, are people who are more, you know, emotional. They are more people-oriented. Mm -hmm. They have to take care of, uh, you know, human resources and all the, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, making people feel part of the, the environment of the company. Okay, the inclusion, okay? right? Inclusion, that's it. Okay. That's it. Well, you seem to be, and I don't seem to be, I know you are because of your leadership uh, at AmCham uh, and, and the structure of the group that you had with all these women. Uh, leadership skills need to permeate through all types of people. Yes. Uh, because today I don't think we have a choice anymore. I want to be this or I want to be that. I may be a, an outdoor person, but I need to have leadership skills. I need to be able to communicate. Mm -hmm. and, and many times in the past, you saw that in your group, uh, of adjusting people to that reality. We may have positive primary skills, but the secondary skills need to... Yeah, we have to have the perfect match between the soft and the hard skills. Uh, so that people can transit and be, you know, we, we have to thrive on difficult uh, um, uh, um, atmospheres, eh? let's mm -hmm. see, like this, okay? So uh, you have to adjust according to your skills and what you are supposed to be providing to the company and what you are su supposed to be providing to the team especially the uh, administrative assistant. So they have to know what the mission of the company is <laughs> and uh, how to put people together, okay, to right. have a perfect balance uh, in, the, in the office. Yeah? And I, I remember that uh, from many of the women that were in, most of them obviously were women uh, and still are when you're talking about executive assistants. Uh, in Brazil, anyway, it, it still tends to be a female-oriented uh, uh, profession, mm -hmm. and it's really in within the care. I say within the caretaker sense, yes, uh, which is special to women. Mm -hmm. And many times, I would see that uh, in companies that because those caretakers would be the ones receiving any new CEO or country manager, and really helping. Uh, that person understand the Brazilian culture, the Brazilian way of working, mm -hmm. uh, which any culture is different. I can say that Brazil is Brazil's different because it's a different culture, but all cultures are different. So having a person help adjust to that arrival 
Uh, and today we see part of that arrival is not physical. That arrival is virtual. Virtual. So companies are being managed by persons out there in this world mm -hmm. that aren't even here. So yes, how, so how do you see that adjusting today? Today, uh, uh, as we are multicultural people, huh, so uh, most of the administrative assistants, they uh, really have a very uh, straight uh, contact with the colleagues in the other countries. So we are uh, very, um, you, we, we know the need uh, of, uh, of how people... Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we know how to provide uh, the the newcomers as a host. Mm -hmm. Okay. So talking about our different cultures, uh, making showing them around with the teams. So we we are very you know uh, we have the feeling and we can sense what people are in need of. So and that's so why that, it works. And you see that. So the future still is that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The future is that. And so the uh, people that you're advising today, uh, obviously as an astro coach, which to me is a fascinating, has to be a fascinating profession mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? because it's a real change. Uh, but I think you do help people help themselves. Yes. Uh, uh, it, because sometimes you don't know all about you. So self-knowledge is really important. So uh, they, uh, besides knowing the, the niche where they are going to work, uh, they have to put themselves into the activities. So that's why it's important to know how their emotion is, how to control their emotion, how to control their uh, uh, um, how to control their your personal uh, ab abilities mm -hmm. and how to uh, fit into the teams. Huh? So it's really important. And one thing that I uh, really is, I, I am really um, asked to do is to work with. Uh, um, so there, there are several techniques in the astrology that we can use uh, for professional purpose. Mm -hmm. So we can work on the uh, astro cartography. So we transport the astro chart into the physical uh, map in the in the world mm -hmm. okay so you, we can find our astrological lines in uh, in the planet okay mm -hmm. so if you have uh, lines for profession in uh, in the, in other countries right. so you you can use this as relocation okay mm -hmm. so uh, besides being something important for the employee it's important as well for the company who is hiring the the right. employee so we know if the person is going to adapt, if mm -hmm. it's going to be a perfect match, mm -hmm. okay? So it works like this. So we can have these, those lines and see right. if uh, uh, the person is going to be uh, profitable and successful on the, in the country that she is being hired or the country that she is being located. Okay? Well, one other thing, and you're an example of this. Uh, because we're talking about companies and people being hired and working. Um, but there's a whole new aspect that's, that's come out uh, mm -hmm. uh, of doing your own thing, literally. Uh, so you are a person who has had uh, involvement in many multinationals, but now today you are your own boss. And it seems that more people are, are looking towards that. That is an opportunity uh, of, of starting up, of being an interpreter. Uh, so does does the the astro charts help that in that way? Because maybe you may find yourself and see that you are uh, what you should be working by yourself. Uh, so when I get to the point of being an interpreter, uh, and, and this seems to be the part of the transition, not only in the pandemic, uh, but many of the opportunities in Brazil were for people to start their own company, to be their be their own boss. Uh, sort of like mm -hmm. you, the way you are. Is that also part of the advice you give to your, your clients? Yes, there are people who are uh, really uh, eager to start their own business. And uh, we can not only 
uh, find the niche of the, the business that they can work on, but also location. And uh, besides that, we can also uh, set the time frame that uh, is uh, that we have those uh, opportunities to go into uh, a new business, to start a new business, and on the same uh, on the same time at the same time we can provide to the people saying what are the the, the blind dates where you should not start your business Aha. because it's <laughs> not going to be successful yeah. uh, so actually what you're helping do is i would call that astro networking Mm -hmm. So, because uh, in astrology, this is, uh, we can say that it is a time science. No? Mm. So, we can uh, work on, uh, it's, it's a kind of predictive thing. So, you can have the, 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 the most um, successful uh, uh, times of the, the, the year mm -hmm. where you can uh, start your business or uh, you can make a study or make a, a business plan about that right. to have uh, uh, make a, um, uh, a, a compatibility uh, mm -hmm. study uh, so that you can really have all the steps and uh, really be prepared, prepared to uh, the deep dive into the market. Well, what, and then everybody says that the timing is of essence. But if you don't understand what that timing is about, uh, and what you're saying is we can use the wrong time to start up, or we can use the wrong time to do anything. And we have to look for the, the appropriate uh, uh, time to really do anything. So what you're helping people do, actually, is to understand how to be patient in their planning and in their process, correct? Correct. Correct. That's it. <laughs> well, well, we're coming to the end of our time, unfortunately, and I'd like to keep talking, but I want to thank you for sharing your, your time and experience with us, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. I want to thank you again for sharing your time with our listeners and just say to them they will find more about you. Know, that's Zenia Quirino, and that is X-E-N-I-A-Q-U-I-R-I-N-O. You find her on LinkedIn or her site, which is espaçonatividade.com.br. Espaçonatividade.com.br. I'd like to thank you, our audience, and our sponsor, Focus MI Market Intelligence. Focus MI specializes in market research for the Brazilian agricultural market. More about them on their site, which is www.focusmi.com. All Talk to Brazil podcast shows can all be found on major platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, TuneIn, Amazon, Geo7, and YouTube. Remember, when you talk to Tom, you talk to Brazil and the world. Goodbye, and thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to Tom Riach on Talk to Brazil, the business connector to Brazil. 